Are you ready for another face-off? Who wants to play? Get over here. There's seven answers up there this time. Triple points in play now. You better make sure your answers count. We conducted a survey of 100 people for this question. Name a type of pain in your life that you want a quick relief from. Think you got something? Good answer. Feeling lucky? I want to see that answer. Back. Not in this survey. Let's move on. Okay, then. And what did our survey say? Thirst. Unlucky. Let's see if you can find the top answer. It's worth a shot. Could it be up there? Let's find out. Neck. Nobody said that one. Okay, let's see if we can do better this time. Sure thing. Our survey says, itch. You're wrong. Time to search your mind for an answer. Good answer. That's what you're going with? Did any of our 100 people say it? Stress. Oh, it's not there. Let's hope you've got something better. Got it. Our survey said, heartburn. Way to go, sport. That's on the board. So what's the deal? You gonna play or pass? They don't want to play, so it looks like you'll be taking this one on. Dig deep and think of an answer. Oh? Yeah. That's your answer. Do we have it? Foot. Sorry, it wasn't up there, so I'm going to have to give you your first strike. Oops. Do you have an answer for us? Oh. Yes. Yep. And our survey says... Chest. Oh, no. You struck out again. Name a type of pain in your life that you want a quick relief from. That's a good answer. Okay. Time to find out if it's up there. Headache. We're still clinging to this game. Whoop. One more strike and you're in trouble.
Great answer. Here we go, then. Let's run with it. Three strikes. The other family has a chance. If you want to steal this round, you need to find me a missing answer. You've got a shot here. Good answer. Answer accepted. Did our survey agree? Toothache. That's what we want. Awesome. We've got a win over here. Let's check out the missed answers. What came seventh? Cold. And the sixth most popular answer? Debt. It's the fifth answer. Back pain. This is the fourth answer. Stomach ache. How are our families doing? Let's see. It looks like inside this game. Let's fly in the face of danger and play sudden death. Someone from each family, get up here and play. We're only looking for the top answer. Whoever buzzes in first gets a shot at finding the answer. If you're wrong, your opponent gets a chance. We asked 100 people. Name something a really paranoid mobster might own that's bulletproof. You're up. Oh, nice. Said with confidence. Is it there? Gun. Oh, so sorry. It's not there. Oh. I need an answer. Yeah, yeah, that's a good answer. All right, let's try it. Is it up there? Bunker. Uh -oh. Sorry, but no. Uh -huh. Got another answer? Great answer. Nice. Is it up there? Show me. Car. Nada. What do you think? Good answer. We have an answer. Let's see if you're right. Shield. That's not up there. Guess okay. what? We need an answer. Oh, nice. Got it. The survey says... Uh, oh. That's not what we're looking for. Do you have an answer? Ah, yes. Let's take a look. Suit. That's incorrect. Since nobody seems to find the right answer, I've chosen this family to win sudden death. You're the winner. You get to play fast money. The Lee family fought real hard, but unfortunately, it's time to say goodbye. Are you ready to play fast money? Since you're playing alone, you'll be answering twice. Be easy for you, Geminis. I'm going to ask you five questions. I need you to give me the most popular answers. You'll do it once, then we'll come back around and do it again since you're all on your own. Get more than 200 points, and you're taking home the jackpot. Okay, start the clock. 
Name something you get for someone who feels faint. Name an Olympic sport the United States does well in. Name something people put all over their bodies. Give a word Frankenstein's monster would use to describe himself in a personal ad. Name something you shake the sand out of after a day at the beach. We're all out of questions. Let's give these another whirl and see how you do. Time to step it up a gear. You're going to answer them all again, but this time with different answers. Ready? Start the clock. Name something you get for someone who feels faint. Name an Olympic sport the United States does well in. Name something people put all over their bodies. Give a word Frankenstein's monster would use to describe himself in a personal ad. Name something you shake the sand out of after a day at the beach. That's it. Okay, you've done all you can. Okay, let's find out how you did. For our first question, we asked, name something you get for someone who feels faint. Here's what you said. What did our survey say? We've got a top answer. Next, we asked you, name an Olympic sport the United States does well in. These were your answers. Two impressive answers here. Looks like they both scored some points. Track and field. That would have given you the top points. All right, for the third question, we asked, Name something people put all over their bodies. The answers to this one. And our survey said, we found the most popular one. For the next survey question, we asked, give a word Frankenstein's monster would use to describe himself in a personal ad. What were your answers? How many points are these answers worth? Not your finest answers, for sure. Tall! That was our top answer. And the final question? Name something you shake the sand out of after a day at the beach. This is how you answered. And our final survey said... Oh no, you were so close. You did great, but I can't give you the jackpot this time around. Looks like you won't get the $20,000, but you'll still get to go away with something. We're going to take your score from the whole game and turn it into some money. Thanks for playing, and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye! So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video, 
interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You'll have a great day and peace out.